with all these three questions or the three challenges, you know, I've encountered, I'm curious, you know, how Rubric is addressing all of these challenges. The coast stewardship point you brought up is, is a very important point. In fact, when we released uh, uh, support for Oracle in, in the Rubric Alta 4.0 release, we actually took the approach where we want to give the DBA complete control, um, where they are able to use their existing mechanisms to back up the database because that was important to them. But at the same time, we want to give visibility to the backup administrator uh, to be able to control things like retention, archival compliance. Um, but when we brought this product to market, there were many other organizations that came to us and said, we would like the same sim simplicity for Oracle uh, backups as you did for SQL. So with uh, Rubrik Andes 5.0, what we are bringing uh, to market um, is a choice that we give to customers. So for organizations that want the complete control for DBAs, um, we offer Elastic App Service, which allows DBAs to continue using the existing workflows to backup Oracle with, at very high performance and scale. For organizations that want the simplicity, we are providing complete policy-based protection for Oracle databases where we still use RMAN under the covers, but eliminate all the needs to maintain scripts, where Rubrik itself will, based on policy, invoke the appropriate RMAN scripts to be able to back up Oracle onto Rubrik. Another feature that we're very excited about is the ability to do instant recovery. So we are now bringing near zero time RTO for Oracle databases, um, which is extremely important for mission critical applications. Uh, and uh, Another offshoot of that is the fact that you can actually use that same functionality to do clones for test and dev uh, use cases. And what that does is it actually improves developer agility where a developer is not waiting for you know, multiple hours to get a new clone database provision for their test use cases. So together with this, I think we are not only are we improving uh, availability of mission critical applications, but we are also improving overall developer agility in large enterprises. Very, very impressive. So all these things are coming with also a lot of automation without the ability or the, uh, the need to write scripts. So can you tell me a little bit more about the, uh, the automation, the simplicity size? Yeah, so um, with Rubrik, what you can do is you can actually auto-discover all the databases that you have, assign a simple policy to it, and then Rubrik will take the backups based on the policy that is defined. All right, so coming back then to the third area of, of challenge, we'll talk a little bit about, about, about the co-stewardship between DBAs and, you know, and the uh, and, uh, uh, backup admins. So you talked about the, the EAS, Elastic uh, App Service, that actually give the DBA full control, but even it, with that kind of situation, the backup admins should be also uh, feel comfortable with the, the data governance side? So we have full control uh, that DBS can take in terms of controlling the backups. In fact, with our role-based access control, we can give specific access to database, uh, to database administrators to be able to take those backups. But the backup administrator has full visibility onto things like retention, offsite copies from a compliance perspective. And they have full access to reports to ensure that those compliance requirements are being met. So I can see that this uh, Oracle Life Mount is going to be another killer function like what our uh, offer with customers on SQL Life Mount, right? So this is really exciting. Really looking forward to all these uh, new great uh, capabilities to our customers. Yeah, we are very excited about this release as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.